When most gamers think of Minecraft, they usually picture themselves building a city with friends or trying to survive the night with zombies pounding at your door. And for the most part, yeah, that's what the game's about. But like most games, Minecraft has its fair share of secrets. Some dark, some interesting, some just plain weird. In this YouTube series, I will be drawing these secrets into the light and seeing what they're really all about. From haunted music discs, from a serious race of extinct creatures, this is Minecraft Mysteries. If you were to ask any Minecraft player about the ominous yells and clanks from the underground of your world, they will most likely not look fondly on the memories. For years, players of Minecraft have been disturbed, alarmed, and straight up terrified by the collection of sounds that tend to show themselves in dark corners of their worlds. But why? What are their purpose? Why are they here? And why are they so darn scary? All these questions will be answered in today's episode. To properly understand our fears, we must first confront them. This is why I will be analyzing every single sound, including some other chilling audio clips from the depths of Minecraft's ocean. The first sound of my analysis is rather short, but that doesn't mean it isn't scary. Take a listen. Many players believe that this sound represents a trade whistle, or something of that sort. In my opinion, this is one of the scarier sounds of the game. While not scary by itself, Cave2.org can give anyone chills while exploring the depths of your Minecraft cave. The reputation of this sound is still somewhat speculated among players as what it could be. Some say it sounds like a bell far in the distance. Others say it sounds what you believe this sound to be. We can all agree it's not something you want to hear while diamond hunting. The sound titled Cave3.org by the game is definitely one of the darker ones in the game. Listen. player thinks about the scary cave sounds, this is usually one that comes in mind. Some believe it to be a low growl of an unknown creature, while some say it's something heavy moving above you. Whatever the sound is, it still causes players to delete their worlds to this day. Imagine exploring deep in your Minecraft cave when you stumble upon a clump of diamond ore a few blocks ahead of you. You place your last torch on the ground before you slowly approach your shiny reward. But as you get your pickaxe to mine, you look into the ominous tunnel to your left, and you hear. That. Still want the diamonds? This sound is probably one of the more notorious ones, and that's for good reason. Players have debated the sound source since it was first heard. Perhaps. It is a demonic roar from a distant creature, or the sound of something metal tumbling down rocks. Whatever you believe, this is why I have cave sounds turned off in my world. While being one of the longest ambient sounds in Minecraft, Cave5.org causes the player to freeze in terror for the following 9 seconds. I don't know if it's true, but I am convinced that it is the most common of the cave sounds. Take a listen. I don't really know what to say about this one. It's just a long ringing sound that ends with some weird notes. It's creepy. Moving on. Similar to Cave 3, Cave6.org recreates the feeling of dread while the cave ambience plays. Unlike Cave 3, this one isn't quite as low, and it is most likely something heavy traveling down tracks. 
like Cave 3 and 6, Cave 7 is also a low sound, likely rep representing something going on tracks. It's lower than Cave 6, but higher than Cave 3. Take a listen. So far, we've heard strange growls, low rumbles, and bizarre rings. So let's add creepy breathing to our list, shall we? To me, it sounds like a large creature's echoing breaths, or perhaps the whispers of spirits lost in the caverns. Like all the other sounds, it's unsettling. Cave9.org is one of the more mysterious ones. It's just a dark rumble that lasts for four seconds. I personally have no idea what it could be. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. While it's no more than two seconds long, Cave10 has probably caused more fear than any other Emmy sound in Minecraft. I have two theories why. First, the sound is very out of place, even for a cave sound. Second, its strange pitch tends to attract the player's attention more. Some of the sounds such as Cave 7 can easily be missed by the player if not paying close attention. However, Cave 10 is different. Either the screech of a violin or someone slamming the brakes on a minecart somewhere in the cave. This sound tends to be creepier if the source is below you, at least in my opinion. Cave 11 on Og. It could be a number of things. The minecarts hitting each other. Some more unknown monsters. But if you ask me, I'd say it's something large. Rapidly tunneling through the dirt below you. Perhaps a giant sandworm. But most of us know that worms don't exist in Minecraft. Or do they? This sound isn't very scary, even in the cave, but it's still rather interesting. It sounds like a loud gong in the distance. Moving on. Cave 13 is just another distance roar. This is a weird one. Sitting in at 11 seconds long, many players consider this to be the scariest cave sound. I have no explanation for this one. It's just a series of weird buzzes changing in pitch. Due to its ability to disturb players, People on the internet have nicknamed it the streaming sound. Upon placing it in a spectrogram, this image is revealed. It is also the only cave sound that appears in subtitles. Sounds like a minecart rolling down the track before falling into a ravine. Cave 16 is undeniably a minecart rolling down tracks. Simple, but still unnerving. After it was added in Minecraft 1.12, Cave 17 instantly took the crown of the scariest cave sound. Just listen. Now imagine being lost in the cave when you hear that. Pure nightmare fuel.
Similar to Cave 17, this one consists of clanking metal, loud thumps, and terrifying ambience. Finally, we reach the final and longest cave town. Walking in at 13 seconds, Cave 19 seems to consist of a strange ring and what sounds to be like something dripping in the distance. But my friend is convinced it is a large spider waiting for you in the shadows. In order to uncover the final sound on my analysis, we are going to climb up from the caves and go for a dive. Like the caves, Minecraft's oceans contain a fair collection of ambient sound, many of which are pleasant, mostly. While swimming in the depths of your oceans, you may hear this. This is one of four mysterious sounds that can be encountered deep in your Minecraft ocean. Darks 1 through 3 are also unnerving, but not like this one. Okay, now that we're familiar with the cave sounds, let's take a quick look into Minecraft's past to better understand them. The ambient sounds were first added to Minecraft in version Alpha 1.0.3, which included the first 13 cave sounds. Composed by C418, the creator of Minecraft's music and original record collection, the cave sounds begin starting players, and we saw those on single player. It wasn't until Minecraft 1.2.1 where the cave sounds audible on multiplayer. The sounds remain unchanged until 1.9 combat update, when Cave 14, aka the streaming sound, was added to the game. One update later, in Minecraft 1.10, sounds 15 to 16 were added. Minecraft 1.12 brought with the sounds 17 and 18. The 1.13 update Aquatic brought with it Cave 19 and 22 new ocean ambient sounds. As of now in Minecraft 1.16 snapshot, 95 new ambiences sounds were added to the nether and its new biomes, and 31 sounds to the basalt deltas, aka the rare void biome. So yeah, that's the story of the cave sounds. Now let's look into how they work. So from Alpha 1.0.3 to 1.15, sound worked like this. The game displayed a timer counting down from 600 ticks, so about 5 minutes. When the timer ran out, the game would scan these diamond blocks from your location, not including the blocks you're on. If one of the blocks is a block of air, has lighting level under 9, it will randomly pick one of the cave sounds to source from that block. If none of the blocks fit the conditions needed, no sound will play and the tick timer will start over. In Minecraft 1.16 snapshot, this method has changed. The, the update added a mood meter that increases and decreases depending on lighting around you. The lower the lighting, the faster the mood will increase. Upon reaching 100%, the game will scan one of the blocks as before. The only change was to replace the tick timer with the mood meter. The mood can also be viewed by pressing F3 on your keyboard. We've learned a lot about cave sounds today. We know the change log and how they work. But one question still remains. What is their meaning? While we have no real evidence, several theories have been formed, all trying to answer the same question. Let's take a look at some of the more popular ones. One of my favorite theories is Random Animation Guy's Crash Theory. This theory claims that the cave sounds are ghostly remembrance of a tragic mining disaster that happened in the caves long ago. The story goes, the four miners were in the caves riding in a minecart when a creeper blew them off the tracks. One of the miners died instantly, two more were killed by monsters. The theory states that the fourth miner is the man who running, coughing, and breathing in the infamous Disc 11. 
This theory would explain the abandoned mine shafts in your world, Disc 11, and cave sounds. For the sake of time, I will not be going into it any further. If you're interested in the theory, I'll leave links to Random Animation Guy's two videos on it. Another theory I feel I have to mention is the Herobrine theory. Many younger players believe that the cave sounds represent Herobrine's presence in your world. Sounds like Cave 1 and 7 mean that he could be anywhere, but sounds like 14 and 17 mean he is within 100 blocks of you. Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous, it makes no sense. But I thought I should clarify that some people believe this. If you do, that's okay. We're all allowed to have our own opinions. Another theory by my friend, Julia and her demons, is that there are no cave sounds. And it's just Steve, the player, fear of the dark. It's causing him to hear sounds that aren't there. I don't know about this, but it's something to consider. Alright. I suppose that pretty much covers it. With this new knowledge in mind, maybe we can all learn to keep our cool in the caves of Minecraft. This was Minecraft Mysteries, investigating cave sounds with the comic Corvette. I'll see you next time when I uncover the next Minecraft secret. Ciao.